right? That kind of smell in your armpits. Let me smell. Whoa, you don't smell like anything. Smell uh, me? No, I don't like it. Come it on. I'm sweating. <laughs> So baby, I smell, right? No. Don't agree with that statement. <laughs> now, why do I smell? Actually, do you think I smell? I'm gonna ask you that first. A little bit. A little bit, but in comparison with to my- With all your friends, you smell the less. I smell the least. That's mm -hmm. fantastic news. But I, in fact, do smell. Now, what if I told you guys? And we have, a, a Chinese people have, I don't know why and I don't know how, Chinese people have a stereotype Foreigner smells. Foreigner smell, but is there like a specific foreigner that smells worse than another type of foreigner? I don't know that. I do. I don't know. <laughs> I, the thing that Chinese stereotype, and so just for, for you to avoid pissing anyone off, I'll speak on behalf of the Chinese stereotype. Oftentimes I'll hear that they say Indian people or Pakistani people smell. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what you're saying, okay. Let's pretend like you didn't say any of that. <laughs> So I'm gonna answer this question. So a lot of people ask me, when I'm walking around, uh, you know, Asia or China in general, do I smell people? And the, the quick answer to that is yes, of course I smell people. You smell people too, right? But a lot less. The sweat and the gross. <laughs> yeah, right. But a lot less than that body odor type smell that I would associate with, with white foreigners, let's just say, you know, my, my own race, right? Mm -hmm. Now I can confirm through DNA testing as we did that DNA test that I'm 100% mm -hmm. Western European. A little bit boring, right? Mm. Kind of disappointed in that, but I do know that I have the gene or the propensity mm -hmm. for the allele uh, to carry body odor. And uh -huh. again, that's completely different depending on where you are from. So I don't want to piss you guys off, but this is science, right? <laughs> and science says science rules that some people, some races, smell worse than other races. Now, if you look at this chart here, right? you can actually see that on the top of the chart we have African Americans and Western Europeans and things like that. And on the bottom, so almost 0% of people from South Korea actually have the alleles that carry body odor genes, right? Now before you go out there and say like, I don't, I don't have any alleles, I don't believe in the science, dinosaurs were just put there to test, test our faith in God. You know, evolution isn't real, all this kind of stuff. What I'm talking about is this kind of gene that basically allows the bacteria on our body to produce a gross odor. Science alert. So basically the consensus is that the non-functional ABCC11 allele is predominant among East Asians, 80 to 95%, but it's very low in other ancestral groups between zero and 3%. Most of the world's population have the gene that codes for the wet type earwax, that's the yellow stuff, and normal body odor. However, East Asians are genetically predisposed for the allele associated with the dry type earwax, the kind that Vivi has, and a reduction in body odor. East Asians, like Chinese, Koreans, and Japanese, have fewer apocrine sweat glands compared to people of other descents, making East Asians less prone to body odor. The reduction in body odor and sweating may be due to an adaptation to colder climates by ancient Northeast Asian ancestors. And it varies quite a bit because even amongst the Koreans, Pretty much 0% of the people will carry this allele with the Chinese, like I said, between 10 and 20%. When you go into the Mongolians, you're looking at about 25% of the people. When you look at Japanese people, you have an even lower percentage, about 31%. And that's something I saw in Japan when I was there, was the frequency of deodorant being sold in uh, convenience stores and drug stores and things like that. And you look at Thai and Vietnamese people where it's almost about half. So 50% of the people have body odor and 50% of the people don't. Right, that kind of smell in your armpits. Let me smell. Whoa, you don't smell like anything. Smell uh, me? No, I don't like it. Come it on. I'm sweating. <laughs> now, one of the issues here is that, first off, I'm going to say as a foreigner, in, in China, you can't buy deodorant, right? People are going to run and say, yes, you can. You can go on Taobao and buy it. Yeah. Mostly they're spray. They don't really use the 
that, that, that little cute right. one. Right. My point is that you can't just go downstairs to a random shop and expect to find deodorant. And that's an issue, right? Because sometimes you run out of deodorant, correct? Mm -hmm. So that is kind of an issue for foreigners in China who would typically carry a little more body odor than a local person. And the other thing is that China, although it's down there on the chart, there's still like between 10 and 20% that unlucky people, we can say, that carry that gene, right? So that gene that we're talking about is the same gene that would make a white person smell, right? So you still have a percentage of Chinese people that carry this gene, including who? My parents. Your parents. So how did you end up without this smelly gene and your parents have it? I don't know. My grandmother have, um, have what's it called? And my grandmother have dry ear wax, but uh -huh. she never have those like armpit smell and stuff. And I end up adult that genes, I think. <laughs> right, so this is the craziest thing, I think, is the craziest thing, is that if you have dry gray earwax, right? If you have dry gray earwax, you pretty much have don't have the ability to have armpit odor, right? Yeah, apparently that's a and that's like what indicates it. That. It's tied mm -hmm. to that. So I have wet, gross earwax. When I pull it out of there, you know, it's it's gross, right? Mm -hmm. It's orange, yeah. almost yellow. Usually people can use Q-tip, but to us we can't do that because Q-tip doesn't do do with the powder. right, right, right. Yes, I try to stay away from that. I think it's best to not to touch it because it just keeps coming back. Well, that's a abundance. tradition though. Like, Ch <laughs> I don't know, is that Asian culture? At least Chinese people, they love to do the, uh, the dig their earwax. Right, check out, this, check out this uh, street art. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's actually super pretty. This area, this whole area is pretty cool. But anyway, um... Can look at that. Oh yeah, check that out. That's awesome. It almost feels like we're in... If I... If I wasn't hearing Chinese everywhere, I would think we we're in Japan. Yeah. Um, anyway, long story short, people with this wet earwax smell bad. People with this dry earwax don't. And now, what do your parents do? Like, th those unlucky people, what do they do to get rid of body odor? Because they don't wake up and put on deodorant like I do. They, um, I remember when I was little, they have those medicine can uh, let you stop sweating and then, like, a like prevent this smell or something a little uh. bit something like that go this way okay okay something, some medicine to treat that medicine like, like a pill no medicine spray you okay. actually need to okay. um, you actually need to like put it after your shower uh -huh. and then apparently it can last whole day but nowadays right. like the young people just do the spray uh -huh. like but most of people more concerned is like cover sweat and stuff. Just let okay. it dry. So there is like no, some no. sort of thing you can get at the super or the drugstore yeah. that will cover it up. So those few people that are unlucky mm -hmm. enough to have this gross gene, mm -hmm. that's what they do to deal with it, right? Like these guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I just thought it was super interesting that some people, or most people in Asia, don't actually have the ability to smell. So when you think about some people smell worse than other people, it's actually the truth. It's the scientific truth, right? Yeah. And you are lucky enough to not have to wear deodorant. You're, you know what's bullshit? Yeah, I never wear you know what's deodorant. bullshit? You don't need glasses. I need glasses, <laughs> right? My back's always hurting. You're totally fine. You, unlike normal women that I've met before, after having a kid, you're pregnant right now, for God's sakes. After having a kid, you snap back and you can never tell that you had a kid. <laughs> Your teeth are straight. I had to wear braces, right? I have to buy deodorant and wear it every day. You're totally clean. What is this racial bonus? If this was an RPG, a good one. <laughs> you would literally have the best roles in the beginning, and your character's ready to go from the start. You don't even have to level up, mm -hmm. right? But anyway, I thought <laughs> I thought it was an interesting topic because a lot of people have asked us about this. So mm -hmm. I want to say thank you so much, Lowiners. We will see you at the next one. That's not correct. Oh. Uh... Usually the next one is mine. If you like this video, please go downstairs, give it a like, leave a comment. What were your pre predispositions? What were your preconceptions about, you know, actual body odor? And do you have an issue with that in your home country? And I want to say, if you want to see more behind the scenes content about everything that we do, go to patreon.com slash And I want to say thank you so much, Lowiners. I'll catch you on the next one. Just to let you know, the Chabador t-shirts are still being sold. Show the world how little you care. Chabador basically means half-assed or just okay, or kind of the equivalent of the English ish. This phrase in Chinese society is kind of tantamount to how everything works there. So if you're a fan of the channel, Lao86, 
Go out there and show the world. Chabador. Show everyone that you gave it your half. That you're almost there. There's only a few days left on this campaign, so make sure you get your shirt today and support the channel. Enjoy. Enjoy.